Hey everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. Today is day eight of my 12 days of Christmas and uh, today on my blog, I'm featuring the Joyful Flurry bundle. Unfortunately, by the time we reach day eight, the dies have sold out, but the stamp set was still available. So this project really is for those of you that already have the dies or that have snowflake dies that you could substitute. I'm sorry that that happened, but that's the way it goes here in December. But I just really wanted to show you this beautiful project. Inside are these little Debbie snowflake brownies. I don't know if I've ever seen these before. I feel like these are new this year. I feel like I know all the little Debbie snacks, but this one I feel like is new. All right, let's make our box first. You're gonna need your Simply Score. Let me grab mine over here. And a piece of Highland Heather. That is five and a half by six and a half. On the long side, we're gonna score it at half an inch, one and a fourth, three and a half, and four and a fourth. And on the short side, we're gonna score it at three fourths of an inch and four and three fourths. All right, now those measurements will be over on my blog um, with the complete supply list as well. Um, so you can go over there and get that. Okay, so now we're gonna burnish these lines with our bone folder, make them nice and crisp. And then you wanna get your scissors and see over here where we have these two score, score lines close to each other? This one is the tab we're gonna to use to adhere the box to the other side. So we're gonna just cut off those little rectangles on each end and we're gonna cut this tab at an angle like that. Okay, and then we're gonna go through here and just snip all the score lines across. One thing I like to do also is take the corners off of my square tabs. That just kind of reduces any traffic there in the corner with your paper and your box will go together a little bit easier. All right, now once you have this together, you're gonna to get your adhesive of choice. Just for the sake of the video, I'm gonna use stamp and seal, but normally on my boxes, I use either tear and tape or um, Tombow liquid glue. Now put that uh, adhesive down that end like that and just fold it over and there's your box. Now you wanna close up one end. Here's that edge, so we want that to be on the back. So close in the sides first then the back, and then the front, you'll want to be the last thing you fold in so that you're gonna have nice rounded edges on that front side. Okay, slip in your yummy brownie. Can't let my kids see these, they love little Debbie brownies. This one you're just gonna fold in, you're not going to adhere. That way your recipient doesn't have to rip open their box and destroy the box to get to the brownie. They can open it nicely hopefully, and then either reuse the treat box, they can give it to somebody else, or they can display it. I know a lot of people I give my treats to like to display them on a shelf um, to show them off, which is really fun for me. All right, tie your bow. This is Fresh Freesia bow, or ribbon. Um, our purples all coordinate really well together. All right, let's see. There we go. Okay, so now we're gonna make the front part. We're gonna do some stamping and some die cutting. And these dies were really interesting. Um, when I first started playing with them, I was a little bit confused at the beginning, but then I figured it out. The outline dies cut out the outside shape of the stamped images, while these dies just cut out, um, we're gonna use this one, just cut out a bit of it. So it's kind of creates a texture on your background. So we're gonna use that one right there on this piece. And then we're gonna do, we're gonna stamp just one of them. And this one we're gonna do in Versamark. Let's bring over our embossing kit. Um, I'm gonna hit that with my embossing buddy, hopefully to remove any static cling that might be there. And stamp that in Versamark. I know you're like, where is it? I can't see it. It's a clear ink, but as soon as I put this silver, embossing powder on here, you're gonna see it. All right, let's see if I can get this back in this 
container without making too much of a mess. Whoops, nope, that's what the tray is for. All right, so I got a, I missed a couple of little parts. There we go, beautiful. Okay, now hit it with your heat tool for just a few seconds until it's nice and shiny. All right, there we go. Isn't that beautiful? You know your embossing powder is done when it gets shiny. All right, the other thing that we're gonna stamp is the sentiment, and we're gonna do that in, uh, let's do Gorgeous Grape, which is the color of this cardstock right here. It's a season of magic and wonder. I like that. All right, now I've got my dark Highland Heather Stampin' Blend. And I'm gonna just put a little dot of color in each little part, each little open section of my snowflake. All right. All right, there we go. Nice and pretty. Bring over the cut and emboss machine. And we've got a little, little um, kind of a stitched label, if you will. We're also going to cut out that snowflake. All right. Run those through carefully. And then the last thing we need to do is to cut this snowflake out of this. Now, it's a little bit bigger than the paper, but that's okay. You'll see when we're done how it works just fine because it's not cutting out anything. It's just kind of putting stitched lines into our paper and, and giving us a few that are going to kind of poke out a little bit. See that? Now I like to take my take your pick tool and go in the back and just kind of punch all these out. We want them to give us some dimension. That's the whole point. Okay, like that. Bring back my box and some dimensionals, which right here, they're hiding from me. And I'm gonna put, Hopefully I put that one high enough. We'll see in a minute. I may have to move that dimensional. Basically you want dimensionals in the four corners. I hope that one is too low. Let's just put it here so we know exactly where it needs to go. All right, so now I'll take this beautiful snowflake that we made. Dimensional in the middle and put that right there. And then a couple more for our sentiment. And we're done. Oh no, we're not done. Hold on. Wait a minute. There's one more thing. A one of these faceted gems that are just beautiful right in the middle. All right, now we're done. I hope you guys enjoyed this project. Remember the dies are sold out, but you can easily substitute other dies that you have, other snowflakes, other images. Um, but the stamp set at the time I made the video is still available. All right, everybody. Thank you so much. Hope that you will click the link on my on here on YouTube to go back to my blog. Check out the other Joyful Flurry projects and let me know if you have any questions. Bye, everybody.